my name's Fran and you're watching a retouching tutorial for tipsquirrel.com. In today's episode I'm going to be teaching you how to turn this into this by adding life into those flat images. So if we open up our raw image in Camera Raw this will be the dialog box that you get. It's full of sliders uh, full of uh, tools that we can use to tweak our images. So as you can see, this is a very flat image. It has no life. It's looking a little bit dull. So we're going to use Camera Raw just to tweak the image and make it look really great and add life to the image. So first up, we're going to crop the image. So I'm looking at a, a rectangle here. I'm going to take it in just a bit just to cut out the elements that I don't want from the image. So next we move over to these sliders. I'm going to take the exposure down because it's looking a little bit bright. I really like to bump up the contrast so I'm going to whack that up. Not too much but just so it's enough um, for what I like. I'm going to bump down the highlights because they were quite sort of blown out there. Bump up the shadows just so we get this more HDR kind of image. I'm going to push down the whites a bit, probably push down the blacks as well. Bump up that clarity quite a bit. There's a lot of texture in this image. You've got the wall, you've got the floor, you've got the statues, and I think bumping up that clarity is going to look great. Next, let's just have a look at the white balance. So auto doesn't work that well, so I'm going to put it back as shot. Just warm it up just a little bit, but not as much as the um, auto version there. And I'm probably going to take down the vibrance just a bit just to get rid of some of the blue and some of the yellow tones that are in the image. So I think that's about there. Quite liking that at the moment. So let's take a look at this panel here. I'm probably going to put some noise reduction in there because this image was quite grainy when I shot it. So I'm just going to bump up that a little bit. So these are the various different sliders and um, there's lots of saturation ones here, split toning, lens correction. So I always go on lens correction and choose my lens that I used. And if you put in the brand, it usually chooses the model, um, which is quite good. Um, I'm going to tick, tick that there. And let's see if we can auto correct that. Now it has actually removed my cropping, but I'll sort that in a second. I'm going to have some lens correction on there as well. Love a bit of vignetting. I'm just going to crop, re crop this because it's gone back to uh, the default. And I, I quite like that. So there we go. I think I'm pretty much done in Camera Raw. So we're going to hit open image. Now that's pretty much there with camera raw settings. There are other ways you can really boost this and make it really wow by using curves and different elements like that. I'm actually going to do that in another video. So this video you're watching right now is actually going to be a series. So this is episode one and I'm going to continue on with a variety of great videos in this series. So in terms of this image, this next section is probably part two so as you can see here I mean if it, this was your image you can leave it there but I'm actually going to use a plugin just to really ramp up the clarity and really add HDR elements to the image now I'm going to do this using the Topaz Labs plugins and the particular plugin is called adjust so let's crack on with that so I'm going to duplicate my background layer and then I'm going to go to filter Topaz Labs and then adjust and this is going to open up a brand new window with the software in. Okay, so when you open up Adjust, you'll see a bunch of different presets on the left here. So you've got Adjust, Classic, uh, Film, HDR, My Collection, which is your saved presets, Stylized, Toned and Vibrancy or Vibrant. So there's a, a bunch of great, great tools, presets in here, plugins if you like. And for this particular image, I'm going to be heading to Adjust and I'm actually going to be using the Clarity uh, preset, Clarity filter. But as you can see, there's loads of different choices here, but for this particular image, it's got to be Clarity. 
and so you click on that and on the right side you can see a load of sliders to really adjust the clarity preset so it gives you default settings and you can just go ahead and adjust to your liking. Now I'm just quickly adjusting the image to my liking, but obviously for you, you might think this is over-processed or you might think it's under-processed, but um, I'm just doing it very, very quickly just to show you all the different sliders and all the different sort of modes that we've got here, presets, but um, for this particular image, anything with buildings or really nice stonework or statues, clarity can work really, really well on your images and Topaz has some fantastic presets. Um, hundreds of presets for you to choose and of course you can make your own. So as you can see the before and after it's looking really really nice I'm, I'm really liking the way this looks and like I said before the whole point of this video is to give some life into those flat images and I'm, I'm really liking this but I think I might add a little bit more to the image using Topaz so I'm just going to do that in a second. Obviously you can use the opacity, you can bring the opacity down on your layers there. But um, I, I really think it needs something extra. So uh, let's go back into Topaz and see what else we've got. So duplicate your background layer again, head to filter, Topaz Labs and then adjust. Topaz adjust 5. I'm not sure if that's the current uh, version. Okay, so I'm going to go into the HDR collection and I'm going to choose Dynamic Pop. So let's have a look and see what that looks like. The default is always pretty good, so actually I think I'm going to have that. Nice, I'm really liking that. Yeah, it's probably a little bit too overprocessed, but I'm loving that. Obviously you can turn down the layers by using opacity or fill. But that is before, so that's my camera raw shot, and then that is after. And I actually really like that, I think that's awesome. But you can, turn, like I said, you can tone down the opacity if you wish. Um, but just a little side note, I'm going to give you a bonus tip. If you get the black and white adjustment filter, and then change the blending mode to luminosity, you can actually change the colours within that image using that adjustment filter. Now not a lot of people know about this and know it's quite a good technique that retouchers use but you can literally just bring up and bring down colours based on, on that filter or that adjustment layer sorry. So I'm toning down the blues which just makes them a little bit darker so they're not as bright and prominent on the scene and you can adjust the other colours as well. It can work really well if there's a lot of different colours in the scene. This mainly has blue and yellow. But um, as you can see before and after it's just taken away some of that lightness on the floor and I think that looks really cool. I'm really happy with that. So that's pretty much it. So you've got a couple of tips in there, obviously camera raw using Topaz and then that bonus tip using the black and white adjustment layer. But I want to thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it. Be sure to check out tipsquirrel.com for the latest Photoshop and Lightroom tutorials. If you want to see more from me, you can subscribe to this channel. It's absolutely free and you'll be notified about my latest videos. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Photoshop Pro and of course on Instagram at Photoshop Fran. Thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you in a future video.